guys, it's Justina Elise, and today we are gonna do a product review on a new mask that I just tried. Um, it is the Elf Pore Refining Peel Off Mask. If you're interested in this product, just keep on watching. So, this mask is by e.l.f. I've never used it before. I've actually only used one other peel-off mask before this product. It has charcoal, it has witch hazel, and it has lavender in it. The directions say, apply a generous, even layer to clean skin. Avoid eyebrows, um, hairline, and leave on for 30 minutes. The mask will return, will turn from shiny black to matte as it dries. Peel off from the edges, rinse any excess off. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with people that you think love natural hair, love makeup, love skincare, because we do all those things here at Justina Lee. Also, don't forget to comment below any products that you might want me to try, whether it's natural hair products, whether it's makeup products, skincare products. I am available to all kind of video ideas. Thanks for watching. So I'm pretty much done peeling the majority of it off. As y'all see, like I still have some on my face. Um, I did leave it on for 30 minutes, but I guess um, maybe it wasn't long enough because this part is like still wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, rinse off my face because it says any excess that you have on your face, just go ahead and rinse it off. And then I'll be right back. What's your favorite face mask? Do you like hydrating masks? Do you like detoxing masks? Or do you just like exfoliating masks? Comment below your favorite mask. I'm gonna give my final review on this mask. This mask is a mess. <laughs> so I applied this mask. I use a generous amount. It, was, it is a very, very thick mask. And um, I use a generous amount, applied it to my skin, and um, make sure it was even and all that stuff. As I was peeling, started to peel it off, I kind of moved my skin around, my face around, you know how, like when you have, well, I don't know necessarily, but my idea is to move my face around to get like the edges to start peeling off. No, I literally had to like pick at my skin to try to get it to come up. So as I was picking at my skin, I kind of got some of it up and I like tried to start peeling it off and it just like, it wouldn't peel off at first. So I had to peel some off and then pick up my skin again and peel some off and pick up my skin again, peel some off. And it was just, it took me 15 minutes to peel it off. And it shouldn't take me that long. It should be easy and just peel off. Maybe it's because I'm not used to peel off masks. I'm not sure. But it took me a really, really long time to peel it off. And it was really annoying. Another con to this peel off mask is that literally I still have glitter on my face. I went in and washed my face again with my cleanser. I went in and just applied water to my face to like try to get it off. I went in with my toner to try to get like a little bit of the excess off and I still have glitter on my face. Like I'm moving my face and my lights are shining and like I can still still see glitter on my face. And it's so annoying. Um, it's really, really annoying to see. And I really hope it goes away because I don't want to get any glitter in my eye or anything like that. So I really hope it goes away. Um, as y'all know, I kind of have sensitive skin, a little bit of sensitive skin. I have combo sensitive skin because I'm um, specifically sensitive because of my eczema. Um, the only pro to this that I see so far is that my skin is smooth. It smells like a baby's booty. Literally. It is smooth. 
<laughs> it is smooth. It literally smooths out my face. Now, will I try it again? I don't know. I really don't know. I really, it like immediately when it, when I was starting to pull it off, I was like, no, I'm not using this again. No, 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 no. But it leaves my skin pretty smooth. Um, and I, I want to see how it does as far as my pores. So next time, I'm not going to use it like all over my face. The next couple times I use it, I'm not going to use it all over my face. I'm going to focus it where I get oily, which is basically right here in my forehead area. So I'm not going to focus it anywhere else. And I'm just going to try it again. Um, right now, I would literally rate this product probably a two and a half, three. Just because it was so annoying to pull off and the fact that I still had glitter on. Maybe I didn't wait long enough to let it dry or something, but it was just so hard to pull off. And there's still glitter on my face. I mean, I want to be glowing, but I don't want to be glowing because I got glitter on my face that might get in my eyes. That's not funny. I just, that's not fun. I don't want to go to the eye doctor to get glitter out my face. But literally, um, it's a good product. But the cons kind of outweigh everything. That's why I'm doing that. Two and a half, three, like two set, two point seven five. That's my review. Um, that's my rate on it. We're just gonna have to try it again, guys. Cause it didn't leave my face dry. It didn't leave my face dry. It got um, majority of my dry patches off. Like I can't. This is just like super dry. Yeah, I didn't moisturize. But um, after I put the mask on and after I washed it again, but um, it, it basically got it off. So, yeah. So, guys, if y'all want to see more videos like this and for me to make it a series, maybe Mask Mondays, whether it's face masks or the conditioner masks for like conditioning your hair, leave a comment below and I'll keep going with this. Um, series on my channel so leave a comment below because i really like doing that i have liquid masks i have sheet masks i have scrubber mask exfoliating mask all those kinds of masks and i just love to do a mask and yeah so guys if y'all are interested make sure you leave a comment below um if you're interested in my mask mondays i'll go ahead and start that series for y'all if you have any suggestions on mash you want me to try just leave a comment below and i'll do that for you make sure you subscribe because you know i'll be dropping two or three videos a week and i know i say that at the end i rap for y'all at the end of my videos i'm telling y'all i drop two or three videos a week but i do i do <laughs> anyway and if y'all like these videos make sure you give me a thumbs up and i will see y'all next time remember guys you look Bless. Bye.